Hector Quiroga here with the Quiroga Law Office. Today I'd like to talk about non-competition agreements and non-disclosure agreements. Um, and really I should say non-competition clauses and non-competition uh, non-disclosure clauses. These agreements or clauses are often found on employment contracts when an employer would not like to uh, or would like to extend an offer to an employee and uh, in exchange of, of the job and the, uh, the salary there are certain considerations for example the consideration not to compete typically this clause will limit the employee's ability to go out in the workforce after, after it leaves the employer's uh, job and start a business or go help a competitor or uh, own stock for example sometimes you can see you can't own more than five percent stock on a company that competes directly with the employer. Um, we also have see non-solicitation agreements. They um, are similar in the sense that you can um, bring an, another employee with you, you can solicit uh, the employer's um, current clients, you can solicit the employer's current business relationships and some other language that is in, in, included on that. Well, this is a huge limitation and it has certain restrictions in Washington. Washington is what we understand as a right to work state. And, and that's important because it can really limit the way that these contracts and clauses can be drafted. Um, so it's very important that the clause is drafted properly, otherwise it could be rendered not enforceable. Some things to think about are time frames for how long you can compete. Uh, another thing to think about is for a uh, geographical area, how, how big of a, of a radius are we, what are we talking? I can compete uh, within the state, I can compete within the city, I can compete within a few blocks, or I can compete within the United States. Those are um, the type of, 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 of restrictions that have to be very clear, but they also have to be enforceable, and there is a lot of case law that limits those things. And so, uh, if you are either wanting to draft a proper uh, clause that would protect you as an employer, uh, you can contact our office. Or if you're an employee in which you believe that your clause uh, shouldn't be enforced for uh, whatever reason, uh, there may be some case law that was going to benefit you. In either case, give us a call, 509-927. 3840. Uh, again, 509-927-3840. I'm Hector Quiroga with the Quiroga Law Office. Till the next time.